Some things to note about pets in Death Valley National Park is that similar to other parks, they are not allowed on trails in the backcountry or in park buildings. They are allowed on roads where your vehicle can go, picnic areas and campgrounds. They must always be on a leash that is no longer than six feet and owners must pick up after their pets. They cannot be left unattended or tied to an object and don't leave your pet in your vehicle when it's hot. Death Valley is a desert that does record some of the highest temperatures on planet Earth. There are plenty of unpaved roads that you can explore with your pets and I found that you can really see all of the sights that you want from your vehicle. This trail is about a quarter of a mile and it is a paved path that pets are not allowed on. Thankfully, it was quite cool out this day, so we did leave Juno in the car while we walked the trail for about 10 minutes or so. You can see the structures from the parking lot though if it is a warmer day. The Devil's Golf Course is a must do in my opinion. These salt formations are so cool and you can actually walk this road with your pet. So you can park up off 190 and walk down this road. We chose to drive it as the wind was pretty crazy this day and was kicking up a lot of sand from the dunes. But you can also get them out in the parking area and walk them around. They are not allowed off of the dirt road, but trust me, you don't want them to. These salt formations are very sharp and if you happen to take a tumble, they will cut you and actually tear your clothes. The Badwater Basin is another must do in this park. It is the lowest point in North America at 282 feet below sea level. Pets are not allowed on the boardwalk or on the salt flats, though we did see a lot of people doing that. Please don't be that person. We took turns walking the short boardwalk and viewing the flats while Juno was in the car with someone. By this point in the day, it was around 75 to 78 degrees. So she definitely couldn't be alone in the car. So we basically just took turns. So we all got to see it, but she was still comfortable in the car. Artist Drive is a beautiful nine mile one way paved road where you'll get to see gorgeous colors in the rocks like blues, greens, and pinks. The most prominent colors are located about halfway through the drive at Artist Palette. There is a parking lot where you can look out and your pet can be out of the vehicle. They're not allowed to walk down into the rocks or on the trails, but you can see these beautiful rocks perfectly from the parking lot. We stayed at the Long Street Inn and Casino located just over the Nevada state line when you're exiting the park on the eastern side. I found that this was the best way for us to enjoy two days in the park. They are super pet friendly and very affordable. There was a $50 refundable pet fee that you got back at checkout as long as your pet didn't do any damage to the room. We would definitely stay here again. Dante's view was probably our favorite stop on this trip. It is absolutely gorgeous and you get a 360 degree view of the park. There is a parking lot and paved sidewalk area where you can walk your pet and overlook the basin. Pets are allowed here, but they are not allowed on any dirt pathways that exit the parking area.
Zabriskie Point is another beautiful spot in this park. There is a large parking lot and the walk is about a quarter of a mile to the lookout. Pets are not allowed on this path, but we did this first thing in the morning so it was still very cool out and Juno stayed in the car. Pets are not allowed on the sand dunes, but they can be viewed from the parking lot. Similarly to the basin, we just took turns walking out onto the dunes while someone stayed in the car with Juno. Father Crowley Vista Point, also known as Rainbow Canyon or Star Wars Canyon, is also another gorgeous viewpoint in this park. There is a parking lot and paved sidewalk area similar to Dante's view where pets are allowed. If you get lucky, you may even see a military training flight or two come through the valley. The military has used this canyon since World War II to hone the pilot's skills at flying low and fast to avoid enemy radar. It resembles the canyons of Tatooine, which is how it got its name. You can also walk the Father Crowley Point Spur Road to Padre Point as pets are allowed there. We ate lunch at the restaurant in Panamint Springs, which was very dog friendly. They had a pretty decent sized patio that was even larger because they had tented off a portion of the parking lot to accommodate for more table spacing. The food was so good and plus you had an incredible view, so how could you not want to eat lunch there? <laughs> 